Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back, okay? Today's video, we have a really fun one. I just did a 50 summer crochet ideas video, and a lot of you guys wanted a beach-specific one, like things to take to the beach, things to wear to the beach, etc. So I came up with a 50 beach crochet ideas. Now this one, be proud of this one, okay? I spent some extra time on this one to make sure that every single pattern in this video is free, okay? When have I been able to make a video where they're all free? It's rare, okay? Usually I have to get some paid ones to mix in the bunch, but listen, I was able to find 50 awesome, really cute beach-related crochet ideas for free free all of them are free none of them are paid so this one is for my i want a free pattern girlies and guys okay they're all free not a single paid one so 50 free patterns as always everything i say will be linked in the description box below in the order that i said it linked to a free written or video tutorials so that you can make anything i'm showing you in this video we've got a lot of categories for this one we've got hats and head accessories bags blankets can cozies cover-ups and then a miscellaneous group at the end for everything that didn't fit into those and as always if any of these patterns are yours and you don't want them in my video then dm me over on instagram and i'll take them out asap if they're in your then if they're in this video but they're linked to the wrong place i've had that happen before unfortunately if it's linked to the wrong place, please DM me on Instagram and I can update where it's getting linked to to make sure it's going directly to where you want it, okay? So other than that, let's jump into our first category, which is hat and head accessories. All right, so for this category, we've got this summer headband to start us off. And then we have this striped bucket hat for those of you who want a striped bucket hat. I've recommended this one before, this whimsy head wrap before, and it's a hit. I love it. A lot of you guys love it. So I'm adding it into this beachy one because it's for the beach, okay? Tie that hair out of your face so you can build sandcastles. You can also make this really cute flower bandana if bandanas are more your thing. Or if you want to make a bucket hat, but you don't want to make a striped bucket hat, you can make this checkered bucket hat or even this granny stitch bucket hat. I'm trying to give you guys some options because I know some people don't like the normal bucket hats or, or they want a plain one or they don't want a plain one. So I'm trying to give options for you. You can make this boho beachy headscarf similar to the whimsical one, but a little different. I wanted to give you guys another option. And then we just have like a basic bandana no frill no extra stitches just a basic bandana then we have this this bucket hat which i thought was really cool i like that there's like a net part around like the majority of your head it allows some breeze so if you're going on a particularly hot day i recommend this one and what's cool about bucket hats is if you're making them out of cotton or any kind of water wicking material you can dip it in the ocean and put it back on your head to stay cool and it should keep its shape you can also make this shell stitch bucket hat if you want a little more of an intermediate stitching level than the basic ones you can make this sun hat which i really like and i actually added to my to be crocheted list but this one's a really fun unique take on a bucket hat and if you're a plain Jane, if you're, si you're a simple plain Jane, you don't want a lot of things going on, or you're a super beginner and you need to start somewhere with bucket hats, I recommend this easy bucket hat video tutorial for you. There's no stripes, there's no changing colors, it's a simple beginner video. So if you're new to crocheting, I recommend that one. And that is all I have for you for our hat and head accessories. Let's jump into our next category, which is bags. For bags, we have this mesh tote bag. Mesh is awesome when you're at the beach because you can shake a lot of that sand out, okay? So mesh totes are good for your items or even if you have kids, good to put those toys, those beach toys in. You can also make a heart tote bag um, like this one. You, I also recommend lining it with some type of fabric. If you're planning on making it a beach only bag, I would line it with some plastic or like polyester 
um, fabric so it's easier to clean than just like your normal cotton fabric. Now you can make this really fun shark bag for our shark lovers out there. I gotta include a shark one for Dylan. Dylan's obsessed with shark so let's add the shark one. You can also use this bag handle pattern to add to any bag you want to do. I know this isn't a full bag but I wanted to add this as an option because I know some of you guys like bag patterns but you don't really like the handles most of the time. So I wanted to give you guys an option to switch out the handles you're usually using with this fun, elaborate handle if you're a little more advanced in crochet. You can also make this net sling bag. Nets, this is another good net option. You can make this crochet beach tote bag. Super, super cute. You can also make this wavy market bag if you want to have a little more of a wave in your market bag, okay? You can make this bag, which is really good for kids' beach toys and things like that. You can even make this lemon bag if you want more of a detail in your bag or you're going to do some photo shoots on the beach. This would be like a fun, funky addition. If you're one of my girls who loves patterns and loves colors, give and mix the patterns and the colors, okay? Like me, this one is for you. It's the Sunny Tote Bag. Mix your colors up. Mix mix the colors, bright, vibrant colors, okay? That's what this tote bag needs. If you're more of my clean girl aesthetic and you want a you know, minimalist kind of look to your market bag. I recommend this market bag and bottle holder set. Okay, this is a set. Super cute, super elegant, super chic. Depending on the color you use, I would recommend using a cotton fabric, especially if you're taking it to the beach. But this stitching is perfect for knocking sand out of your items before you get going. So I really like that one. You can make this mesh market bag. It's just another mesh option. I've got every kind of mesh option for you. And then if you don't want to do a mesh one and you kind of want like a normal tote bag look, this one's for you. You can also just make a little seashell bag to carry your seashells. I recommended this one in my summer video and you guys freaked out about it. So I had to recommend it in a beach video because it's for the beach, okay? So definitely go make one of these. I'm going to make one for the next time I go to the beach because I just went and I used a plastic cup to collect all my shells and it was not the vibe. It was not the vibe, okay? And that is all I have for you for bags. So let's jump into our next category, which is blankets. Now, for blankets, I don't have a lot for you. I only have two, but I found this picnic blanket stitch. It's a free video tutorial, and I'm pretty sure she also has a written along tutorial too, so you can have the written version. But it's that picnic stitch without having to do a bunch of granny squares, which is also an option. But if you just want to make a big granny stitch blanket, I recommend this one if you're brand new to crocheting and you've never crocheted before, I would pick this blanket. Out of the two options, I would do this one, the granny stitch blanket. It's the easiest one to learn your stitches and it's consistent, so you'll like it. But if you kind of want more of a challenge, if you've been crocheting for a while, then I would do the other one, the more picnic-y one. And that's all for blankets, so let's jump into our can cozy category. Yes, there's an entire category for can cozies because I found a bunch. And what better place to have a can cozy than the beach, okay? So for our first one, we have this phone drink caddy. So it's literally, it goes on this, the little arm of your beach chair and holds your drink and your phone. You can also make this easy drink cozy. It's just very simple. You can make a can cozy with a handle like this one. This one's a video tutorial. And you can make like the other caddy but this one is pineapple themed so if you want more of a pineapple theme there you go so you kind of get like girly one and a more boy one um and then you can make this more uh patterned can cozy if you want more of a a if you want more of a challenge okay and that's all i have for you for can cozy so let's jump into our cover up category now if you're anything like me you like a little cover up maybe you don't really like your swimsuit that day. Maybe you want to stay out of the sun a little more that day because we're trying not to get skin cancer. So you can crochet this beachside cardigan, if that sounds like you. You can crochet this beach dress. It's a mesh dress to go over your swimsuit. You can make this one, which is very similar to the beach dress, but just less form fitting than the other one. You can crochet this flower skirt just to cover up the bottoms of your swimsuit if that's something you're looking for you can crochet this kind of looks kind of looks like a poncho because it points at the front 
but um, you can crochet this like poncho dress style cover up or even this mesh dress that kind of has this halter top pull to the front and an open back. I really like this one and it's a video tutorial too. So if you like video tutorials, check that one out. You can make this swimsuit cover up, which is giving a little more mom. If you're a mom, this kind of gives mom, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know. Don't come for me, okay? You can just make this mesh top to cover the top half. If you're like Paige, I want my butt out, okay? I want my butt out, but I want to cover up my top a little more. This one's for you. It's just to cover up the top. This one's another top breezy kind of tank top cover for your swimsuit if that's something you're looking for. I'm going to I'm going to start adding a child option in most of these from now on because I do have a couple of you in my comments that have kids and want to crochet something for yourself and something to match for your kid. So, this one is a crochet cover up child size cover up. So, there you go for that one. You can make this really cute wrap skirt if again you only really want to cover your bottom half you can make this fringe skirt which is so cute and it's still sitting collecting dust on my to be crocheted list but i will get around to it hopefully before summer ends but you can make this really long beach cover up it almost almost goes down to your ankle but it's kind of giving like i think the word's tunic but it's kind of giving that um you can also make this mesh skirt to cover the bottom of your swimsuit I didn't have it listed there, but I just thought of it, but I have this poncho. If you're watching this video and you like this poncho, since we're in the cover-up category, it could be used as a cover-up. You could add more rows to cover more of your body, but I have a video tutorial on my channel for this poncho if you're interested, so check that out. Um, that is all I have for cover-ups, though. Let's go ahead and move into our last category, which is miscellaneous. So, for our miscellaneous category, we have this baby's first beach ball, okay? If you don't want to buy plastic toys, you can crochet a beach ball for your kid to play with um, in the sand. I recommend it for littler kids. Littler kids who can't throw far or hard, okay? Because if that thing gets wet, it's going to be heavy. <laughs> um, you can also make this wrist pocket, which I thought was really cool if you don't want to take a bag down to the beach and you're not really planning on getting soaking wet. You can make a little wrist pocket to hold your identification and your money and things like that. And then last but not least, I found this personal pouch. You can put your earbuds in, you can put, I've seen people put tissues, snacks, car keys, things like that just to kind of keep the sand off of them, um, but still be able to pull them out. A little addition to one of the beach bags you might crochet okay and that is that is all of our crochet ideas for the beach okay hopefully you guys are able to find something remember all of these ones are free so nothing stopping you from crocheting what you want to crochet and as always everything i said is linked in the description box in the order that i said it linked to a free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever i showed you in this video i also have a pinterest board with everything on it i'll link the pinterest board down there too if you're a pinterest girly like i am once again if you've just watched this video and you found one of your patterns in this video and you don't want it to be in the video dm me over on instagram and i'll take it out asap or if it's going to the wrong place let me know over on Instagram and I will put the correct link in because it's happened before, unfortunately, but I can fix it really fast if you just DM me or email me or whatever. Um, I'll get it handled. And other than that, comment down below if there's any other 50 crochet idea video you want to see and I will add it to the never ending list of crochet idea videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.